All right. Um, how to learn electronics for free. Free, free, free. Go to worldradiohistory.com, and it has every book you ever wanted for free. Free, free, free. I mean, it's got, it's got tons of stuff. So let me, let me point out a few things here that you should go read <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, a lot of stuff on broadcasting. Here we go. Electronics. Uh, here we go. So Byte Magazine. You want to read all about old computers? Yeah, there we go. Byte, Byte Magazine. Look at this. Every single issue. <laughs> okay. Um, so read that one. Uh, let's see here. Technical. Okay. So I read this one all the time. Uh, Elector Electronics. Uh, yeah, this is a, a great, great book. Go get that. I think there's even more issues than this that you can find in other places. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different magazine. But anyway, go read that one. Um, Don Lancaster's uh, RTO Cookbook, uh, TV Typewriter, Resistor, Logic. All this stuff is old, but very relevant, okay? Um, okay, so this is the the most... If I had to recommend one book for the beginner, 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 if, you, if you're scared off by the ARRL handbook, if you're scared off by Horowitz and Hill, I can imagine they, everybody's scared off by Horowitz and Hill. This is the one to go to, okay? Come here, and it is under Engineer's Mini Notebook. This is published by Radio Shack, okay? And these are great. You want to learn all about 555 timers? And they're written in a really, really fun way. Um, let me, uh, let me show them to you. Uh, they're all like handwritten and very, very easy to see or easy to learn. So there is one, uh, op amps. Okay. I want to learn about op amps. Uh, yeah, here they are. Here's how they work. Here's how you wire them up. That can make a uh, unity gang follower. Look at that. 741. People were asking about this, right? This is like the super, super simple stuff. So these things are great. These books are really, really good. And there's a whole bunch of them. Solar cells, sensors, optoelectronics, getting started, formulas and tables, science projects, communications. I mean, go through every, I think there's 12 of them. Go, go through all of these. Go th if you read these 12 books and you worked out every single problem in these 12 books, you'd know as much as I do. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's a super cool one. Elementary electronics, uh, let's see here, radio experimenters. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch of really, really cool ones in here. There's just, there's just too many to, to count in this, uh, uh, in, on this website. Uh, I believe you can actually get, let's see here. Let me, it's all alphabeticalized. A R R L handbook. So people are asking about, oh, I can't afford the ARL handbook. Oh, oh, you can't find them here. Well, here, here, here's one. 1981. And you go, oh, I, 1981 is no good. It's too old. Um, no, it's not. It's it, it, all of the electronics. Electronics has not changed since 1981. Um, and like I said, the first half of the book is all about learning electronics and... Um, you know, here's here's a detector circuit. Um, there'll be op amps in here. There'll be oscillators in here. There'll be filters in here. Anyway, you can get everything you want. There you go. Um, yeah, don't be a scared. Don't be scared to look at the old uh, handbooks. Like I said, electronics just doesn't change. It just doesn't change. Uh, people complain about tab publications, but here's some ta tab books if you want to learn things. Um, I find them interesting. They're not the greatest, but um, there's some. Interesting, interesting thing in tab tab books. Uh, let's see here, general technical books. Let's click that. Um, there's textbooks in here. So uh, this is a real famous book on on electronic tubes. If you want to learn uh, all about tubes, uh, circuit theory. Uh, so you want to do real real electrical engineering? Yeah, here's some actual textbooks, right? Um, uh, Mullard circuits for audio amplifiers. Uh, yeah, let's see here. What else can we find? Um, broadcasting. Oh gosh, ham radio stuff. 
I know a lot of people are not into radios, but you can just kind of kind of bypass all the radio stuff in in this, and you will find nuggets of really really good uh, technical things just in general electronics. Um, yes, this one is pretty heavy in in uh, in radios and stuff, but. Let's see here. Let's uh, one on one technical electronic catalogs, bike magazine, radio, uh, hands on. Let me let me see if I can find a different one. Okay, here's the other website that I was trying to remember. Um, archive.org. If you go into archive.org and search for Elector Magazine, E-L-E-K-T-O-R -E -E Magazine, Elector, and they have all of them. They have everything from 2015 back to 1974. Um, and they're, they're all PDF. And uh, there's a built-in viewer, or you can just download the PDF yourself. Um, but uh, I peruse these all the time. There's a lot of really, really good, good old circuits. So one of the problems with electronics these days is everybody's quick to grab an Arduino and do everything. And, it, and, and it, it's hard to teach yourself electronics with, with just a bunch of m microcontrollers. But like, you know, like here's a, little, uh, here's a little circuit here. Can we zoom on on it? Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Uh, oops. Ah. So you can zoom in here. Okay, okay. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. <laughs> Let's go back. Um, oh, gosh. There. This is the one I want to zoom in on. All right, let's try to zoom in on this one. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right. So, yeah, so we were talking about uh, little um, filters the other day. And so here's a little one. It gives you some equations. It give, and nicely, it gives you some graphs. So it actually shows you what this circuit is going to do, right? So you want to you wanna play with the circuit, um, and you want to start learning a little bit of math, or you don't want to learn about math, you just say, oh, okay, well, here's here's what it does. Here are these uh, curves here. And so I can just put in different values and I'll get kind of curves like this. And you can you can play with it. Um, yeah, you want to learn kind of what it does at a, at a component level. Um, yeah, these, the, you know, this one has a whole bunch of uh, filters in it. Um, yeah, this one looks really, really cool. It looks like it has some twin T, twin T filters over here. Uh, what is this thing? Audio signal embellisher. Very cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. Lector Magazine. Um, go on. Go online. You know, you don't have to pay for anything these days. You don't have to pay for nothing. I think my uh, my textbook that I used in college is still in there. Uh, you can just basically get everything for free these days. But uh, yeah, internet Internet Archive is really interesting. They have a uh, they have all kinds of books, so you can search. Uh, uh, it's kind of curious here. Hmm. Let's put in uh, electronics. Uh, they have Electronics Australia. Uh, they have uh, Dick Smith's Fun Way to Electronics. Excellent. <laughs> Dick Smith was great. I love Dick Smith. Uh, so you want to you want to learn it from a very very basic level and and aren't afraid to to uh, have somebody look at your shoulder and say that's what kids do. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah, if you if you never were a kid to do electronics, well now is your time. It doesn't matter if you're seventy four. You can still be a kid. You can still wire things up, and you can learn things. Look at this. There's a bistable audio uh, flasher oscillator. Right. Cool. Learn that. Right. Here's a buzzer. So it's an oscillator, right? Learn about oscillators. 
uh, a dog and cat communicator. <laughs> How about that? You know, these things are great. Um, and a lot of times you don't need to actually build the circuit, you know. Um, but, you know, take a look at the schematics and say, oh, yeah, you know, he's using he's using this transformer in a way that I didn't understand. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a crystal set. Oh, how does that work, right? And you get a little bit of understanding of maybe how the front end of, ampli of, of, uh, of radios work. Here's a two-transistor two transistor amplifier. It uses a, uh, a transformer. So if you're interested in uh, how you convert high, high impedance to low impedance to drive 8M speakers, right? You look at the schematic and, and, and figure it out. So uh, anyway, like I say, everything's for free. What else do they have? More Dick Smith, uh, electronics, thoroughbred. <laughs> uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff in here. All kinds of stuff. Very cool. Dick Smith catalog. Oh, God, I used to peruse the Dick Smith catalog. I used to love that thing. Yeah, what fun. AM car radio. $20. Save $20. It's now $59 for an AM radio. Okay. <laughs> Radar detector. I think I owned one of these. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, there you go. So two 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 tips for the day. Um, yeah, go to archive.org and uh, the, uh, the other one. So 